Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a product review on this battery analyzer by King Bowling. This is the model number BM560 uh, and it tests your battery. I'll tell you how healthy it is. I have a battery that's suspect uh, out in my son's truck and I'm going to be using this today to see if the battery is good or if I need to replace it. So anyway, what we get in the box, uh, have a USB cable. This is not a charging cable. This is to plug into your computer to update the firmware. Uh, this is the device right here. It's, it's small. Uh, it's got very sturdy little alligator clips that you clip on your terminal, your battery, and that's where this is going to get its power from. This will tell you your uh, cold cranking amps. Uh, it has a quick test and then it has a uh, accurate test and it tells you in the manual right here that the quick test is not as accurate as the long test is. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna hook this to my son's truck. We're gonna go through the menu. I can't cut the menu on without battery power. And we're gonna see what's in the menu set settings and uh, we're gonna test that battery out and see, uh, see if this thing will tell us if it's good or not. All right guys, I'm out here in my wife's vehicle. Uh, I'm going to test her battery first. I had to jump my son's truck off to get it started. So I know that battery is not good, or at least it's very weak. So I want to test a known good battery first, and then we will test a battery that is dying. So when you plug it up, I want to disconnect the hot cable. When you first cut it on, it will come to uh, this check battery screen. So I'm going to hit OK on that. I'm going to go 12 volt in vehicle. The battery is in the vehicle. Uh, and I'm going to hit battery test. Confirm that your engine is off. It is. Regular flooded. No, this is an AGM battery, flat plate. I'm gonna do cold cranking amps. This battery is rated for 730 cold cranking amps. Uh, it is set for 730. Uh, and the battery is showing that it has 786 cold cranking amps, which is better than what it said it was from the factory. The ohms is 3.2, which is low resistance. Uh, and that is good as well. So let's back up. Let's go, uh, let's go load test. No, let's do startup test. Okay, the engine is turned off already. Now it's wanting me to start the engine. So let me go start this engine and we'll come back and uh, see what this thing says. Starting ability is normal. So now we're going to do a charging test. Sorry for the glare, guys. Okay, it's testing. Press OK. Loaded 13.83 volts. Unloaded 14.07, which means it's charging normally. All right, let's do uh, this load test. And see, it would it, it would be having higher performance because this thing is idling about 800 RPMs. It's wanting me to rev the engine up and hold it at a constant RPM. And I'm not doing that for the sake of making this video. So right now it's currently charging at 14 over 14 volts which is perfectly good. That means my alternator is good. Okay, I've got to turn the engine off. I'm going to test this battery one more time. Confirm that the engine is off. It is off. AGM. Cold cranking amps. 730 is what my battery is rated for. 100%. Showing 800 cold cranking amps. Uh, 
Let's go to cranking ounce, which should be higher than cold cranking ounce. 730 is what the battery is ready for. And it's showing good at 986 cranking ounce. So this battery is healthy and good. And uh, that was what I was expecting. Now let me go over here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to work on my son's truck and we're going to test the battery in it. Okay, first I've got my son's truck running because uh, I'm afraid if I kill it, it won't start back. So I'm going to do the running test uh, to start with. Uh, I'm going to check 12 volt in vehicle. I'm going to do charging test. This is going to be testing the alternator. We'll see how much the alternator is putting out. Fourteen point two volts loaded. Fourteen point three eight volts unloaded. That is perfectly normal. Now I'm going to do a battery test. I got to cut the engine off, and I'm afraid it's not going to start back. But we're to find out. All right, I have uh, killed the engine, and now I'm going to test the battery. It's an AGM battery, I know. Cold cranking outs, I'm going to leave it on 7.30, just like I had it on the uh, other car. Okay, 45%. I just killed this thing. Uh, and it's showing 488 cold cranking outs, which is probably enough to start the truck. So what I'm gonna do now is saying replace battery. All right, so now I'm gonna do a starting test. All right, it wants me to uh, turn off the engine, which is already off and then start it. Maybe to start. Nope. So I've got the engine running again. I ended up having to jump it back off uh, with my jumper box. Uh, this little thing told me that the battery was bad on this one. It told me that it was good on that one. And that is 100% accurate. I don't know how accurate the numbers are, but I have no reason to, to really question them. Uh, but it, it, it will tell you uh, if your battery is getting short in its life. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I was looking forward to testing this product out and it has met my expectations. That's why you're seeing this video on it right now. I do recommend this product. Let's go back in the house and do some closing thoughts about it. I'm impressed with this little product. This is the King Bowling BM 560, and it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. It told me my good battery was good, my bad battery was bad. Uh, this thing could potentially keep a man out of trouble from a problem that's going to be coming up on the horizon, like a no-crank issue, like trying to get to work in the morning, and uh, your battery's been dragging for a little while, and now it won't crank. This right here will tell you if your battery is getting low, if your battery is not where it should be, it also tell you if your alternator is not outputting the correct voltage to your battery to keep your battery charged. I do highly recommend this. This is why you're seeing it is because I tried this product. I do like it. It does what it says it will do. And that's why I'm showing it on my channel. If you want one of these for yourself, they're not expensive. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Y'all come back next time. We'll see what we got going then.